In this series, we'll be looking at some fun, weird, simple ideas in mathematics. Don't worry, you don't need to be a math person to enjoy this series. Seven of one, eight, and two to carry. Although, is anyone really a math person? Do you consider yourself a math person? I don't. Are you a math person? I am, yes. You are? Yes. Do you have a background in math? Yeah, I'm an engineer with Husky Energy. Excellent, yeah. okay, thank Thanks. you. <laughs> How do you feel about math? I like it. You like it? No, I'm not a math person. How d does uh, seeing a book like this, does it instill any anxiety or anything into you? Sometimes it does, yes. Yeah, yeah. Most of the time. Most of the time. I don't like the new math that our oh. kids are uh, doing with the whole words, word problems, and uh, no real numbers. And I think I'm good at some math. Oh, that's excellent. What kind of math are you good at? Basic math. <laughs> <laughs> math. Math. Hey, one plus one is two. So it's all it needs to know. That math, you're not getting a true life. Where are the spirals? You see this math everywhere. We seem to have this idea that some people are math people and most people aren't. It turns out that that's not really how it works. My name is Darcy Hallett. I'm an associate professor of psychology here at Memorial University and I study mathematical cognition. So is there any such thing as a math person? Well, the first thing to say is obviously there are people who are better at math than people who aren't as good at math. There, we have that range of abilities. But sometimes, especially in Western culture, we have this notion of the binary notion of that people are either good at math or they're not. And uh, the research doesn't really hold up that so well. If there was such a thing as people who are just good at math and those who aren't, you would see when you look at people's scores on math tests, you would see some what we call bimodal distribution, which is a chunk of people up here that do really well and a chunk of people down here do poorly. We don't. We see what we think of as a standard bell curve. Most people are around the mean, a few people at extremes, but it's not much different than any other sort of academic ability. Uh, people aren't talking about reading anxiety or science anxiety yeah. or any of these other topics. For some reason, math seems to be a little special this way. People tend to be anxious about their uh, abilities with math. Your brain does incredible things all the time. You can teach it to learn languages. You can teach it to play instruments. You can definitely teach it to deal with numbers.